Hey guys, it's Mike from the Geek Pub, and on this episode, I'm going to show you how to make this awesome air-powered water balloon cannon. Before starting this project, we'll need to travel to the local hardware store and acquire these parts. You can find the parts list for this and other projects at thegeekpub.com. To get started, we'll need to cut two 12-inch pieces of 2-inch PVC pipe and six 3-inch pieces of 1-inch PVC pipe. I use my compound miter saw to cut the PVC. When cutting PVC with the power saw, be sure to use a segmented blade. Using a standard blade could result in dangerous kickbacks. And of course, regardless of the method you choose, always wear good eye protection. After we get the PVC pipe cut, it's time to test fit all of our components. Let's start by assembling the pressure tanks. The pressure tanks are connected by a 1 inch PVC T. Another T is added to split incoming air from outgoing air and will be connected to our firing mechanism which is a simple water sprinkler valve. On top of the T, we'll add a 3 quarter inch ball valve. This will allow us to charge the tanks and close the system for portable firing. Now we need to take one of the 1 inch caps and drill a quarter inch hole in it for an air compressor quick release. This is how we will pressurize the cannon. It's attached directly behind the ball valve. Then, just add the 24 inch firing barrel and assemble the detonator. Once we're happy with the fit, it's time to glue it all together. Be sure to use the proper PVC primer on all of the joints before we start gluing as it will help prevent leaks. Now it's time to apply the PVC cement. I like to push the parts together tightly and then twist them one quarter of a turn. Some of the bigger fittings can be very difficult to fit together and require a lot of force, so don't let the glue dry too long before mating them together. Be sure to get the alignment right on the elbows because you won't be able to adjust them later. Now let's strip the wire back about a quarter of an inch and connect the momentary switch to the 9 volt battery snaps and the doorbell wire. I prefer to solder the joints and use heat shrink to cover them. Once finished, it should look like this. Next we mount the momentary switch through the hole we drilled earlier in the one and a quarter inch PVC cap and then slide the wire through the five inch length piece of pipe. I thought the wiring needed some cleanup so I covered it with this black tubing for a super clean look. With everything assembled, it's time to attach the air compressor and give it a test fire. I just placed a paint cap over the end and pressed the detonator. It works! I want my water balloon cannon to look awesome so I decided to paint it yellow and black. First, I painted the yellow and then taped it off carefully. Be sure to wait 24 hours for the paint to cure completely before applying the masking tape. Once that's done, we're ready to paint the black components and then gently remove the masking tape. Finally, we'll apply pipe thread tape to all of the threaded joints before final assembly. And that's it! It's ready to fire! Before the first firing, we need to lubricate the barrel with some vegetable oil. And the first shot's a success! But my second shot missed. I put this black piece of foam down the barrel and fired it at 120 PSI to give you an idea of just how powerful this thing is, easily traveling hundreds of feet into the air. Well that's it for this project. If you enjoyed this video, please help me out by liking and subscribing to my channel on YouTube. And of course, thanks for watching.